Hello, welcome to Basic Two Tech for students, teachers, and math education. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a fraction using FET simulation or what they call FET interactive simulation. The goal for this video is to show you how changing the numerator and denominator of a fraction can affect the fraction value. Remember that a fraction is a part of a whole. A fraction has two parts. This right here, it has two parts. It has the numerator and the denominator. Now, what you have right here are different representation of the shapes we shall be using. With this right here, which is the mass, we can increase. For example, if I want to see two of this circle, I can increase it. That gives me two. And with this, you can increase the numerator. And with this, you can increase and decrease the denominator. Now, uh, the reason why you are seeing this circle being blank is because we have zero as the numerator, which means that no part is selected. As you can see, we have one as our denominator because we have just one part of a circle. If, for example, I increase the two parts, as you can see right now, we have two parts. Make it three parts, so we have one, two, three. So the denominator of a fraction shows us the total number of parts. I can use it. I can use a different uh, shape. Look at this. This is a rectangle. We have one, two, three. One, two, three. So the a fraction's denominator tells us the total number of parts in that in that fraction now if we begin to increase and decrease the numerator you see what happens let's try it wow look at this look at this now that tells us that it has one selected part we have one over three which is this is one over three so we have one selected part for that reason, we have just one part shaded or selected because we have one over three. Let's increase to two. You see that? We have one, two. Let's increase the, the uh, denominator to four. So you see that? We have one, two, three, four. So this is two over four. So this simulation is very important if you want to understand how fraction works if you want to understand the basic idea behind the fraction the key point is this that the numerator represents the number of selected parts as you can see right here yeah we have three so we have one two three parts selected and we have four we have four parts of this circle i can change it to um to this again the same thing so we have one two three parts selected which is three and we have four parts in all, which is the total number of parts is four, which is the denominator. So therefore, the denominator represents the total number of parts, while the numerator represents the number of selected parts. So when we increase the numerator, we are increasing or we are increasing the number of selected parts. When we increase the denominator, we are increasing the total number of parts. If you want to do this on your own, I will leave the link to this simulation in the description. So please practice because practice makes perfect. I will see you in the next video.